Welcome to video six in my series, Ayurveda Rising. And today what I wanted to speak about was the wounded masculine and even the wounded feminine. And it's not that Ayurveda had anything specific about this to say, but rather it ha it's applicable and it's so important to where we are right now in our evolution. And in the last video I talked about family dynamics and um, when you bring Ayurveda, this like codified science into your home, everyone starts to sync up to a rhythm that brings everybody into energetic balance. And even though it's women predominantly in the US who are bringing this into the home, it immediately has an effect on partnership. And that could be you know, a woman with another woman or a man with a man, but if it's a partnership of, of a man and a woman, Everyone has to decide, you know, are they playing the typical role of, a, of, of what a woman does as a caretaker or, or is the man starting to take on some of the role, roles as a caretaker? And so what we see is this dualism of, of roles or dualism of what we've seen in the past as a woman's role or a man's role. And I talked earlier about women trying to go into the world and embody the masculine as superwomen, and when they soften into their caretaking, intuitive, subtle self and allow their Shakti to rise, it doesn't become important anymore. This power struggle or this power play is okay because women are embodying themselves. But I believe what it also does is it begins to give men permission to also join women in the path of self-care and self-love and self-appreciation. And so all of a sudden in a partnership, a woman and a man can begin to allow themselves to drop in to no longer avoiding the true self and the true essence, whether that be the masculine within the feminine or the feminine within the masculine. It opens up a dialogue and gives uh, one another permission to to, um, to be where they are and be who they want to be and to really unite forces. And I've seen this in so many women who begin Ayurveda is a lot of questions get stirred up and I think we start to see how out of a line the external world is to what we want in our internal world. And so I think it just gives a really beautiful system for healing in this time, as we look at dualism, we are seeing Black Lives Matter, we're seeing the women's movement, you know, um, the feminist movement shift and change. And so, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it gives you some food for thought.